For the first time, during Iran's military parade on September 22, 2017, a ballistic missile was unveiled that, despite its maximum range of 2,000 kilometers, surprised and angered experts, analysts, and even Western officials. This ballistic missile was named Koramshar. A few years later, in 2020, footage of the test launch of the second version of the Koramshar missile, called Koramshar 2, was released in various media, and its remarkable accuracy attracted significant attention. However, the most controversial and deadliest member of the Koramshar family was unveiled in June 2023. Hello, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we intend to analyze and examine the latest member of Iran's Koramshar ballistic missile family, the K-Bar missile. We invite all our dear viewers to stay with us until the end of the video, and if you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. As mentioned, when the Koramshar 1 ballistic missile was unveiled, according to Iran's usual policy of announcing the range of its ballistic missiles, its range was stated to be 2,000 kilometers. However, with ballistic missiles like Sejil and Shahab 3, which were unveiled years before Koramshar and also had a range of 2,000 kilometers, what was the need to develop the Koramshar ballistic missile family? The answer is clear. The previously mentioned ballistic missiles, in order to strike targets at their maximum range of 2,000 kilometers, are forced to carry warheads weighing less than one ton, which could reduce their combat value and make their production economically inefficient. The first and second generations of the Koramshar ballistic missile are capable of carrying warheads weighing 1,800 kilograms, up to a range of 2,000 kilometers, making them a deadly threat to enemy military installations. The range of all three versions of the Koramshar ballistic missile family has been announced as 2,000 kilometers. Additionally, the warhead weight of Koramshar 1 and 2 is 1,800 kilograms, while Koramshar 4, also known as K-Bar, has a warhead weight of 1,500 kilograms. All of these missiles utilize liquid fuel technology for their engines. Regarding the crucial aspect of warhead design, the second generation of the Koramshar missile has been equipped with a triple cone warhead, featuring control surfaces to enhance accuracy and guidance. In contrast, Koramshar 1 and 4 use single cone warheads. However, in the warhead of Koramshar 4, thrusters have been integrated to allow maneuverability and improve accuracy in the terminal phase. Now let's take a closer look at the unique features of the Koramshar 4 ballistic missile also known as K-Bar. This missile is approximately 13 meters long, with about 4 meters dedicated to its warhead. The warhead weight is set at 1.5 tons, but lighter warheads can be mounted if needed. In terms of propulsion, the K-Bar missile utilizes an indigenous liquid fuel engine called Alvand, though not many details about it have been disclosed. The missile's preparation time has been stated to be 12 minutes, which is a very suitable duration for a heavy liquid fuel missile. Next, we will discuss the most critical features of this missile, which make it a decisive and deadly weapon on the battlefield, and have caused outrage among Western officials following its unveiling. The first important feature is the missile's ability to maneuver in both the mid-phase and terminal phase. Most ballistic missiles can only execute light or heavy maneuvers in the terminal phase, which makes them extremely difficult to track and intercept. Because of this, Several missile defense systems have been developed specifically to intercept ballistic missiles in their mid-phase, including systems such as THAAD, HQ-19, and Arrow-3. In contrast, the K-Bar missile performs heavy maneuvers in both the mid-phase and terminal phase to counter these missile defense systems. This makes it practically impossible for systems like THAAD and Arrow-3 to intercept it in the mid-phase, and for systems like David Sling and Patriot to intercept it in the terminal phase. Beyond maneuverability, the warhead's high speed in the mid-phase and terminal phase, Mach 16 and Mach 8, respectively makes intercepting this missile several times more difficult. Another significant feature is the missile's ability to extend its range by reducing the warhead's weight. Various analyses have presented interesting estimates on this capability. Analysts from a Western military institute believe that if the K-Bar's warhead weight is reduced to 700 kilograms, its range could exceed 3,400 kilometers. Other military analysts even consider a 7,000 kilometers range to be within the realm of possibility for this missile. The third and very crucial feature is the missile's ability to carry a significant number of bomblets and submunitions in its warhead. 
According to the commander of the IRGC Aerospace Force, the K-Bar ballistic missile is capable of carrying 80 subwarheads. These 80 subwarheads will function like 80 separate rockets upon reaching the target area, each striking a different objective independently. This means enemy air defenses will have to engage 80 incoming projectiles instead of just one missile. From these statements, it can be inferred that the submunitions mentioned by General Hajizadeh are most likely a type of guided subwarhead equipped with rocket motors, capable of striking predetermined targets with considerable accuracy. Furthermore, these subwarheads will undoubtedly separate from the main warhead at an altitude higher than the engagement range of enemy air defense systems in the terminal phase, effectively overwhelming and neutralizing these systems. As a result, it can be concluded that this missile is Iran's most lethal and advanced medium-range ballistic missile. When combined with tactical ballistic missiles such as Fatah and Kbar Shekan, it can easily defeat Western air defense and missile defense systems. The Kbar missile is designed to bypass even the most advanced defense systems. With its speed and maneuverability, traditional defense systems may no longer be effective. What do you think? Can any air defense system stop the K-Bar missile? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exclusive military insights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.